Police say that Briston stabbed Pryor during an argument at the couple's home. Briston was denied bond today and is in jail, and Pryor is still in the hospital recovering. Shelby Cassessi is live at UPMC Mercy Hospital with an update from the attorneys. Shelby. Susan, both attorneys from each side of this case spoke to the media today. They both painted incredibly different pictures of what happened early Saturday morning. Pryor's attorney says that his client did nothing wrong and that he was left to die here on the sidewalk outside of Mercy Hospital. Shalaya Briston's attorney says that his client is a victim of domestic violence. The opposing attorneys in this case both feel their client was the victim. In his efforts to try to um, control the situation and try to remove them from the apartment, which we did his best to do, given the fact that there were three people assailing him at that time. Um, the altercation spilled into the apartment, and uh, in the course of that, Terrell was stabbed twice. When a six foot four, 230-pound uh, man is uh, assaulting a five foot four, 145-pound young lady in his own home, in their home, um, uh, this is not a tussle. Uh, there's a fear that you can suffer serious bodily injury, if not death. According to a criminal complaint, Briston and her two friends drove Pryor to the hospital after he was stabbed. But at a Wednesday press conference, Pryor's attorney claimed they dropped him off outside the hospital as he was in and out of consciousness. And as he attempted to climb out of the car, he was shoved onto the sidewalk where he landed on his back. Briston's bail was denied Wednesday morning. What's a woman to do? I don't know. Uh, the courtroom will tell uh, what a woman should do, uh, but I believe this is a, a miscarriage of justice has occurred here today. We think it's appropriate and it's attempted murder.